Hey guys, this is Early1981 and welcome to the much anticipated Four Nations Society event which is going to be competed between myself, um, the Enforcer 3891, Calf Loss 1991 and Tim Wilson UK. The first round here is going to be at Pebble Beach. I'm representing Scotland, Tim's England, Calf Loss is Ireland and Enforcer is Wales. So let's get into this guys, fasten your seat belts and hold on tight because this could be a fantastic tournament. Really looking forward to this. We are playing off the longest tees which are playing 7,012 yards and pin selection number one. I am swinging well going into this round so anything can happen here guys. This, this just could be off the charts this. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's... It's just probably the elite golfers. As you can see here, guys, my outfit, I'm obviously representing Scotland. My cap represents you guys, my subscribers, the YouTube colours. Um, that's just homage to you guys, my subscribers. So, let's start, guys, and see how we get on. So, I'm looking to get this driver as far down the fairway as possible, hoping that the wind's going to take me round. Nice opening strike. Hopefully, I can continue that tempo and the uh, straightness of swing and that is going to find the fairway really really well i do feel this could come down to um who's got the best wind conditions guys um so every little um minuscule thing will have an effect on this round with the ability of players that we've got here so it is a pitch up i've executed it well this should bounce roll and sit which is done, and I've probably left myself a three to four foot putt for the birdie that hopefully we can drain. Three footer, turning to the left. I do manage to sink that. My putting is the only thing that I'm concerned with just now, guys. Um, but hopefully I can uh, give myself not longish putts for birdies. Hopefully we can get dialed in. So hole two is a par five. So far the wind's really mild. Can't complain about that. Oh, I've put a fast on that. That is very, very rare for me. It's normally slow. But I have put a fast on that. But we have found the left-hand side of the fairway. So, this this hole is certainly uh, e um, makeable with an eagle. I'm just trying to get onto the, the front part of the green and get this running down towards the flag. The greens are slow, so they are very receptible. Things will sit down on them. Ah, oh, I've pushed that right. I've pushed that right. It's a dirty swing. It's going to make the green, but it's going to be nowhere near the flag, guys. And it's probably going to be a 30 foot putt. Yeah, that was pure. Pure push right. So 26 foot putt for the eagle. One foot up. I tell you what. There's not much in this, guys. It's certainly makeable if I get the right length. It's just going to turn slightly to the right. This looks good. This looks good. Oh, boom. What a putt that is, guys. Now, there's me saying at the start of the round, my pattern was letting me down. It wasn't the toughest of putts, but we do manage to start with an eagle and a birdie. And we are three under through two holes. What a start. So, hole three. This is, let me see, oh, it's a severe dog leg left. I've not had time for a practice round, guys, unfortunately. Um, whether that's going to make a, an advantage or disadvantage to me, I'm not sure. So we are drawing this round, hopefully, onto the fairway. And the shot's looking promising. It's starting to, yeah, there we go. The draw kicked in perfectly there, guys, and we've, find the centre off the fairway there. I was watching Tim's uh, live round last night where he put in a practice round and he shot a 10 under par. A uh, very convincing round from Tim. So the standards are going to be high. That's a good strike. Really hitting the ball well. Oh, I'm long. Oh, jeez, I'm long. I didn't expect to get as far as that. So, a 16-foot putt. 
it's going to turn to the right. Is downhill slightly. Oh, hold your line. Oh, I fought for one minute. We had it, but I've just pushed the putt slightly to the right. That could have had a, an effect in that putt. So we've five footer. We get that for the part. I did say to Phil uh, in a chat message that um, I feel 12 to 13 under is going to be required on this course to be him with a chance. Um, I think bogeys will put you out of this. A double bogey, forget about it. So I'm hoping just to have a par, f uh, bogey for the round. This is a short par four. The wind's really picked up for me now. We're into double figure wins now, so that's not good. But it is a good drive, and it should once again leave me a pitch shot. I didn't realise that most of these holes were so, sh it's so, so short. So 53 yards. Let's see if we can execute this. Slightly uphill. Played it well. I've played it really well. Get in. Oh, we almost bounced straight into the, the, the cup there, guys. So, five foot putt, two inches downhill, turn into the left. Now, that's a good putt, guys, because in previous rounds, that is the kind of putts I've been missing. So, whether that's a good sign or not, I don't know, but we managed to get to four under par through four. So, hole five. Let's see, 190 yards. It's going to have to be the six iron. Just looking to bump this on. We're just going to add draw to this here, guys. Counteract the wind. Aiming left of the flag. We have had a draw, so it should counteract. I've pushed that slightly right. Should be okay, though. Oh, why? Wait a minute. I'm down the hill here. I'm out of bounds. I am out of bounds, and with that, guys, my round is over for this event here. Oh, I'm not out of bounds. Oh, wow. This is an awful shot, by the way. Let's do some calculations here. Oh, my God. Wow. That draw didn't kick in at all, so we're going to have to go with a 40-yard flop shot to try and just get this up there and stick up the top of the hill. Get up. Fortunately, it's stuck up there, guys, but I, I, this is damage limitations here now. I need to chip this in for the par. This is such an awkward shot. I'm just going to try and hit it up the hill onto the green. No, nah, it didn't come out at all. And I am now looking at a bogey at best. Double bogey is looking favourite. I need one of my chip shot mag magic shots here. Is it going to turn? Oh, wow, coming out of the rough, that stopped stone dead. Didn't expect that. So a four foot pat for the double bogey, and this is certainly no gimme. And guys, I'm going to be the first to admit, I think my round's over here, guys. There's no way when I'm playing against the likes of Phil, um, aka the Enforcer 3891, Calf Loss, and Tim, that double bogeys are acceptable. So I go from four under down to two under. We do have a par five here, though, so let's see if we can kick back with uh, a positive score. <laughs> That is the excitement of this competition here, guys. The standard and caliber of players that we've got one mistake like I've made there and you're out. You are out of it. So let's see if I can get a bit of Scottish pride going here and pull this back a bit. Really disappointing. I just got to get on with Just looking to fire this on the front edge of the green. Run it onto the green. The pit is at the front. And see if I can give myself an eagle putt. That wind should really carry me well, and we should kick on well. This should certainly make the front of the green. This could be a really good shot. Go on, keep going, keep going. Oh, it's died to death. We just wanted that to run out another good four or five feet. And that could have been a fantastic um, shot. I am opting to putt this. See if we can get this eagle in. Oh, 
turn. Turn. Get in. Boom! Guys, what an eagle that is. So that is two eagles on the par fives, and I badly need them. So I do manage to get back to four under. So, short par three here in hole seven. But the wind is consistently in double figures now. So just lofting us up a touch. And we are going to apply, apply a touch more draw than we did previously. <coughs> oh, bless me, I do apologise, guys. Oh, wow, that has came up a lot shorter than I anticipated. Wow, that, that crosswind really held me up more than I am. Um, I lied for, guys, so that's a poor shot. I should have got within six, seven feet here with that short par threes. You've got to make these holes count. Turn. Turn. Oh, I'm a lot happier with my pattern today so far, though, guys. And I do apologise, I am suffering with a bit of hay fever here. But, yeah, just to double up the society event here, guys, which, it was Phil's, Phil's idea, the enforcer. He'll take full credit for that. It wasn't anyone else that came up with the idea. I'm representing Scotland. Tim is England. Carfloss is Ireland. And Phil, who is an Englishman, I'm sure he'll give you the side of the story. I think he's an adopted Welshman. will be representing Wales. So, three wood. Going to hang this up in the wind. Pushed it slightly right. Should be okay though. Played that well. We have played that well. So, 176 yards downhill into the wind. This is the right club. Actually just playing this guys, the wind should hold me up well here. Really good strike. Oh this could be really really nice. Come on get up, get up, get up. And see how well things sit down in these soft greens. It has been a long long time since I've played soft greens. But it is a pleasure to play on. Oh and that's a good putt. That is a good putt. And hopefully we can eradicate the memory of that double bogey. And we have moved on to five under par here, guys. So, hole nine is a par four. It's a longer par four this time. 498 yards. Nine mile per hour wind. So, we're going to set our ball to the left of the fairway. And the wind's going to take us back. As confirmed. Just going to get a sip of my coffee while I get an opportunity, guys. But, um... Really hoping that this series can get a lot of uh, coverage, guys. I think it deserves it. And like I say, I take my hats off to uh, the Enforcer3891 for coming up with the idea. It's great to bring these fantastic YouTubers together and showcase their skills on fantastic courses which are designed by you guys. So an 11 mile per hour wind here, 5 iron. Wind's really taking my ball round here. It's going to be a bit long. It's going to be a bit long. We're probably going to be looking about a 20 foot putt here. But even a 5 iron sit down fairly well on these greens, guys. So 17 foot putt, 3 inches down. It is going to turn to the left. This is a tough putt. I just want to lag this down there. Good putt in line. I thought that was going to hold its line there for a moment. Really happy with that putt though. It's going to give me about a three foot putt for part. Which we managed to make guys. So, we're going to remain five under par. It could have been so much better for that double bogey, which was just horrendous by the way. But these things are going to happen. I'm sure everyone will have a moment of madness throughout the duration of this this competition. It's another good swing. Really happy with my swing. Like I said at the start of the round, guys, I am swinging well just now. Just my putting. I have had one or two perfect fasts. 
But it is so hard to play flawless golf all the time, guys, as I'm sure a lot of you will appreciate. So 151 yards, 5 mile per hour wind. 8 irons, definitely the club. Oh, I've put a fast on it. Wow, I, oh, I'd seem to give myself a kiss of death. That is just going to go left of the green. The yardage was going to be absolutely spot on. The yardage was going to be spot on. So, 19 yards. I'm going to have to look for the flop shot here, guys. Loft it up. Not as much as that. Didn't mean to loft it up as much as that. We'll fix it in a minute because we are on a slope. Just going to take a touch more off of this. I've put another fast. That should sit down. No. Or not. Wow. I can only assume I found a slope there, guys. And I tell you what, this is going to be a tough par putt. So 20 foot putt, 3 inches up, turning to the left. Oh my goodness, just missed. Oh, I had to be aggressive and go for it guys, but that is going to be another drop shot. And I'm 100% out of the running now guys, there's no way I'm going to be able to pull this back. That is 10th hole, I'm down to 4 under now. Um, it's going to take a mammoth task now to uh, post a really good score that's going to push these guys. I think, I'm obviously playing first. I was just wanting to set a score that these guys would feel under pressure to chase. Not that these guys will feel pressure, the quality of the players they are, but I'm going to have to produce something magical now. Um, it's not without my capabilities, but it's going to take something special now to uh, even post a score that's worthy that these guys competing against, so, 105 yards, up 14 feet, 11 mile per hour wind, just going to take a touch off this gap wedge, the slope should take us to the right here as well, hopefully counteracting the wind, it's a far better strike this time, the yardage should be good, I do feel that wind's taking me more to the left though it has, Yardage was pretty good, probably going to have about a 12 foot putt, 13 foot putt, down 4 inches, not much in this, these are the kind of putts I'm going to have to start making guys just to make something happen here, if it turns, oh my goodness, I think it's going to be one of that rounds, that just went over the lip, arguably there was a bit too much pace on it. And I've left myself an 8 foot putt for part. Disappointed to be missing that kinds of putts though guys. Ah, and we managed to salvage the par. Nothing seems to be happening for me at the moment the past few holes. Bar bogeys. <laughs> so, I do apologise to those who are supporting me. The Scots. Um, and my American um, followers. I'm sure the rest of the Irish, Wales and English guys will be rooting for their men. So let's see if we can make something happen here in this par 3. 10 mile per hour wind behind me here. Downhill. So just lofted up this 5 iron. That looks like a, uh, five iron. Oh, it's another push right. I've pushed it right. It should kick left here, but... I don't think we're going to be... an easy putt for birdie here. No, it's not. So... Dirty push to the right there, guys. But once again, look at this. It's not a, it's not a difficult putt, really. Any half-decent putter on the golf club, too, would make these kind of putts. This looks good. Right, there we go. There we go. Can we get something going now, guys? Because I badly need it. So, we get back to five under par. <clears throat> Hole 13. Wind is going to take us to the left, so I'm just going to fully loft this driver up, guys. Hang the ball up in the wind. Let the wind take us round to the left. It's another good strike. Just going to steal another sip of coffee. It's a good distance we've got on that, so it's done a bit of damage here. We're probably going to have about a 6-7 iron into the green. Oh, wow. Pitching wedge. Wow. Never expected that. So there's no way that's playing 440 yards. So 130, pitch 
pitching wedge is the shot. It's going to move to the left. With a slope in the wind. It's a good strike. The wind's taking me a wee bit more to the left. But this should bounce forward a few feet and sit down. Decent approach shot, guys. Decent. Probably about a 9 foot putt for birdie. 12 foot putt for birdie, but once again, not much in this. That should turn. It does. So back to back birdies. I think we've not managed that since the first three holes. And we are kicking on now. We move to, I think it's six under. It said five under on the leaderboard yet, but we are six under. <clears throat> but guys like Kafloss and Forster and Tim, who are all really good players and putters, they're, they're better putters than me. That is my weak link. They will uh, make these kind of putts with ease, I would imagine. So just relying on the wind to take me round. Which it has done. So another good drive off the tee box. Like I say guys, I'm not swinging badly. Just um, in around the greens. So just going to loft this up. There's no way I can reach this par 5 and 2 with these wind, wind conditions. So we've got to play the course here. I've pulled that slightly to the left, but it should not really affect me. I allowed enough. And we fully lofted up the fairy wood. This is going to be a tricky shot though. I don't think I've got much green to work with here. Let me see. Just taking a touch off of this because we are uphill. Certainly don't want to land it short. If anything, I want it to just be past the, the flag and check up. Sit down. Spin. 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 Got no spin at all there. But probably about a 7 foot putt. 10 foot putt. For birdie. Had very little green to work there. Not much movement in this one, guys. I'll just play it with good pace. And we do manage to get the birdie again. So that is three consecutive birdies, I feel. And we're starting to pick up a bit of momentum here, guys. Can we finish strongly and post a score that could put these guys to the test? I think it's going to be a big ass now after three bogeys, guys. You, you, you won't win the, the anything in online societies with bogeys. And like I've said, so a 14 mile per hour wind here, just setting us way to the right, letting the wind take me round. It's a shorter par four this time. Played it well. There's a wind starting to take my ball round. Fairway looks like it's going to run off to the left as well here. It does. What a bounce that was. And I do feel I've left myself a pitch shot here again. 67 yards. We are on a down slope, so just lofting this up a touch. The ball's going to move to the left with the wind and the slope. That wind will move my ball here. Good execution. Played it well. Quite happy with that. Didn't set it enough to the, the right for the wind and the slope. But probably going to have about a 7 foot putt for birdie. 6 foot putt for birdie. Once again, fairly straightforward putt. Going to play this with a good bit of pace to really take the break out of it, arguably. And we managed to get another birdie, guys. So, we are really... Moving along nicely here this past four or five holes. So hole 16. Eight mile per hour wind. I'm just going to fully loft the driver up, guys. Let's see. I might run out. I might run out of fairway here. I'm not 100% certain because it is downhill. But at worst, we're going to have a pitch shot anyway, I would argue. Don't like how that came back. Good swing. Oh, I think we are going to run. I think we're just going to run out of fairway here. Hopefully it's light rough and not heavy. Sit down. It is light rough. So, I tell you what, this is tricky. 79 yards down 7 feet. Just lofting this up. We're going to see if we can get it to be about 15 feet short of the flag and get it to run down, I would imagine. This will run out, it won't sit down quickly. This has got a chance of dropping. Go on. Go on. Getting 
Go on. Oh my goodness, it stopped about a foot and a half short. For the eagle, which would have really improved my score there. And we do manage to tap in the birdie. So nine under, guys. I, I'm amazed I managed to, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm amazed that after a double bogey and a bogey that I managed to get to nine under here. Really impressed. So let's see if we can continue this rich vein of form here at Snout. Seven mile per hour wind. Six iron is going to be the club. Just wanting to be right at the flag here. Don't want to kick onto the rough. Just want to kick from the fairway onto the green. Oh, just a bit too long. I wanted to kick on the fairway onto the green. So we're going to have about a 15 foot putt here, I would imagine. 13 foot putt, down 5 inches. Certainly, it's another makeable putt here. Don't want to play this too hard. Oh, it's just turned off the last two feet more than I allowed for. And that's probably going to be about a four, I was going to say four, but it's a six foot putt. Nothing in this again. Right, so I'm going to stay at nine under, guys. What is the final hole? I'm not sure if we've got what it is. Oh, it's a par five. Oh, what a beautiful looking par five as well. So, wow. Wow. My wind has just went down to three mile per hour, so I must take advantage of this. What a... The wind has been very weird. How can it go from 14 mile per hour down to three? So just looking to be left at this tree, we should be able to attack this uh, green in two. It's a good drive. Very good drive. 303 yards. So... It's going to be the four hybrid that I'll be switching to here, guys, without a doubt. Just going to take lower it, because the greens are soft. And I'm just looking to fire this up towards the flag, get it running up towards the flag on these soft greens. Wind and the slope is going to take us round. Great execution. This should be good. This could be really good. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Sit down now, sit down now, sit down now. What a shot that is, guys, for the eagle. Oh, stop. Just went a few feet more past than I would have liked. But we do have a six-foot pat for eagle here. I need to make this. This could get us to 11 under and put a wee bit of pressure on the guys. Great pat. Great pat. So, guys, I am amazed I managed to get to 11 under after a double bogey and a bogey. Take them out of there and what are we saying? Third, that could have been 14 under. But it's all ifs and buts. Let's have a quick look at the scorecard, guys. Wow. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Best of luck to Tim, Enforcer, and Calf Loss. Go and check out their videos when it's uploaded. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe.